Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Armello. I know I said I'd try to get Hand of Fate going for Thursday, but unfortunately more problems cropped up. My fans started giving out and were rather loud, so I had to get those replaced. So, but at the very least we get another episode involving the new characters from the beta, cause at time of recording, this is the last chance we have to play with them. Ooh, immediate game right off the bat. That's what I like to see. Come on, Sninkle Winkle. Ready up. And you know what? It's been some time since we played with the Rabbit Clan. Let's see, what does he get? Get 10% bonus in all quests. I mean, what does that mean? Should I go for the pink topaz, doubles income, or should I go for this 10% bonus? Eh, why not? The ring's gonna go away once these guys are gone. And in his case, he's already got decent wits, fight, and body, so... I'm gonna go for spirit, just so we can take advantage of... different spell cards. And we almost have all rivals. Except for Sana. And then there's Yordana, who my really don't like. Of course, that's primarily because I was the main target of all of her curses last game. Alright, what's my place? Second. Alright, not bad. I'll break it. Yeah, basically Hargrave has a uh, Overwatch ability, essentially. That uh, makes it so that whenever he ends his turn on a Plains or a... Or a Mountain, he will shoot at anyone who gets into the squares around him. And of course my first quest is in a... Swamp. No matter. Ah, probably gonna take my chances on the peril to get that settlement. A bit of early cash never hurt. And I'll probably end it off in this plane, because I don't want to go for that swamp. Ooh, the stranger. That early? Yeah, that early in the game? Let's see, what do we got in terms of gear? Agents of Misfortune, not bad. Immolation, okay. Longbow, I don't really find all that useful. The Shining Steel Sword. Ah, I think I'll hold on to it just in case I need any of those symbols in this peril. Yeah. Let's see. Burn the sun. Burn the sword. And pray that I get a shield. Nope. Well, that was a waste of cards. The nearest unoccupied mountain is all the way over there. That's what I get for trying to gain a little extra income. But I did technically end my turn on a mountain, albeit against my will. So anybody that tries to come near me is going to get shot. For one damage, but still. One damage can make all the difference. Works for me. Of course, knowing that, that might mean she's going to try placing other, less savory pacts on me. Because, hey, I may have cursed you, but you're gaining prestige each turn. Which, if you've seen me play, you know I really don't care about prestige. I mean, I probably should, but still.
Okay, so, what's the new plan? Still, I still want to go for the quest. Bang most likely is going to try going this way, or he may be heading this way. I've often found that the quests tend to be on the edges, at least the first quest tends to be on the edge, within two turns. Ooh, and a merchant's agreement. Won't say no to a little extra gold. Oh, wait. I played Fang last game. Darkness break. What am I thinking? I guess I spend... Yeah, there it is. I knew it was coming. You're welcome. But anyways, yeah, when it comes to Hargrave, you typically want to end your turn in a place where you really wouldn't. At least not as any other character. Because planes really do nothing for anybody else. Alright, what have I got? Let's see, let's go for a spell. Oh, not bad. And an item. Iron Pike could be useful, but I'd like to save my gold for something really important. You know, a thought just occurred to me. Will he attack Kingsguard? Huh. Hadn't thought of that. Oh, glad I didn't try to cast a spell to that bane. Was that an eyeball she just tried to throw in there? And then she just... spilled all the ingredients out anyways? Also, I'm pretty sure I just realized what that 10% bonus in quests is. It means I get a 10% higher chance of passing the dangerous path. Which means my 40% chance with 4 wit is now 50% chance. Which makes sense. Mirror Cape. That's actually a pretty useful item. I think there's actually an achievement for using the Mirror Cape to try and uh, steal the crown of Armello. Well, the achievement is for stealing the crown, but I think in order to do that you need the Mirror Cape. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna equip this. That'll still leave me with some gold. Winged boots, too? Damn. Oh, wait, no, it's Yordana that got the mirror cape. I was just confused because it was the same color. Under my name, it is law. That's fine. Yeah, looks like that one King's Guard was smart enough to not move. Ouch. Sorry, Fang. Nothing personal. Oh, 
another armor. Wait, he appreciates it? Does that mean he wanted to? The mansion is bustling. Let's enter the competition. I've got gold to lose. Just because I have gold to lose doesn't mean I actually wanted to lose it. Oh well. Let's go for this. See what we get. A bang. Because why not? Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. I think I could burn a flame, because I don't have the magic for it. And... Should I burn leather armor? Nah. Wow, really? No suns. A draw. Well, may as well spend the last of my coin, get an extra shield, and see if maybe we can kill this Bane. If not, oh well. Finally, an actual sword so I can take advantage of my iron pike. Don't get me another bane. Thank you. Wasn't really worth it, but oh well. Wait, who played that to me? Sana? You know what? I'm gonna say thank you. Cause that got rid of my curse. Now, let's see, what do I go for here? Hero's shield and battle plus one shield with reflect. E. Cage among the rock, that's spirit. Uh, even with 40% chance, I'm not taking it. I mean, costing one less on all spell cards would be nice, but no. I think I'm gonna go for fight. Now, I'm not bothering with spirit stones. So. So I think I'm just gonna go for the safe route. Sure, everybody else gets tons of riches. I get banes and one piece of gold. <laughs> Fear the night. Well, at least she's not cursing me, though that could just be because, well, uh, I'm in my clan grounds. I know for a fact he's here, because none of the Wolf Clan have a ring that gives them stealth in town, so... Gotta be here. Yeah, for those of you who didn't see the, per uh, the first one, Curse of Skill means you borrow one uh, skill from your <laughs> pack member's highest stat. You don't get it. Yordana does. Teleportation? No. Spirit Strike. And... Brazenberry Ale. Eh. Could have been better. But this will give me a chance to burn my moon cards.
Not the result I was hoping for. Nah, she's out of range. Oh, wait a minute. I can just use this to burn him. Breeze up another slot in my hand. And I'm not going to bother using that. Hmm, not bad. Gain double the uh, prestige from both the quest and from saving, quote unquote, a terrorized town. Plus, gaining all that health means she's going to be harder to kill, ergo, harder to get rid of the curses without dying yourself. That's one of the lesser curses. That one I don't mind so much. Basically what it does is that whenever I kill something, she gains plus one health. Unfortunately, it doesn't work both ways. What you gonna do, Yordana? Perfect. It is so. Okay, then. That was kind of a mistake on her part, because she got immediate damage from that. The fool. See, my quest is up there. Could go around, get to the stone circle, heal myself up. So then, through the night, travel the forests. And then the day after, I could get to the quest. Eesh. This is why you really, really don't want to die if it can't help you. Ooh, what's he got here? Well, that's a shame, but it's not like he's losing any health from it. No, no, wait. I shouldn't travel through the forest, go around to the stone circle, then go through the dungeon, end off on the plains here, then go through this dungeon, and so long as I don't hit any, uh... Any, uh... Portals or banes, I should be just fine. Ooh, Grand Heist. Would be good if I was going for Spirit Stones, which I'm not. But, at least if I have it, I know that nobody else does, potentially. Because I think that's meant to be a rare, one-in-the-deck kind of card. Unlike mercenaries, where, say, multiple people could have it.
Uh, you gonna do something, Yordana, or what? Speaking of doing something, should I? Sp yeah, chances are I'll get some gold from the dungeons. Oh boy, what pack is she gonna unleash now? To be fair, Fang is probably the best person to play Curse of Blood on because of his Berserk ability. Oof, ouch. Perhaps hoping for a mutually assured destruction? Or to get rid of the pact? I mean, with that many die, I don't think mutually assured destruction is a possibility. I'm trying to think of what's got him that high. See, pacts, item cards, minus two rocks, no. Six and one. Seriously, how does he have that high a berserk? Or, fight stat. He is technically blocking my path, but I don't think I've got anything to worry about in that regard. Eh, let's go for a spell. Maybe get a teleport? Nope. Oh well. Now let's see, what's your Donna's highest stat? Spirit? No wait, wits. Eh. Why not? Go here. Go here. Maybe get something nice. Really? Don't really have too much to burn. Now eh, let's go for the evil eye. Roll the rest. You'd think Grand Heist would actually be a, uh, a moon card, because, you know, it's a heist, something you're going to want to do at night. Ah, one short. Come on, better not be another Bane. Thank you. Although that's not much. That's a fight one. Huh. That will give me 70% chance of succeeding. That's if I choose to go around these banes and not, you know, outright fight them. I could, but uh, I'd have to wait for everybody else to go.
so she's been getting a lot of her quests done. Something tells me she might be getting close to a, uh... To the, uh, entry to the palace quest. I think it's like, what, five quests until you get that one? Ooh, bet you didn't mean to do that. Or perhaps you did. Not sure why. I'm still confused as to what's giving him 11 fight. Let's see, what's this? Ah, Rubalite. Don't recall seeing that for the wolves, but plus three fight while you have three or less health. That would explain it. I think it might be safe to say Sun is not winning this game. At least not at this rate. <laughs> you know, I feel like it could be a very interesting story DLC focused on the king himself, like... How did he become king? How did he end up falling and to the so rot? It is. That sort of thing. Ooh. That was a mistake on her part. That's why you need to take your time with the king when you're called in. Well, unless it's Fury Friday. Still, though, with Fang not being there, that means I've still got all these banes to deal with. to lose some health, Fang. Wait, what was that? Curse of Valor. Either pack member attacks the other, they suffer minus two fight until end of next turn, and the pact is broken. Again, one of the lesser uh, pacts. It's the curse of eye, curse of skill, curse of fate that really gets you. Now, the thing is, do I bother fighting these banes, or do I just go straight for the quest? I think I'm going to go straight for the quest. Ignore the snake. Now, unfortunately, it won't automatically attack characters that are there, but, hey, better than nothing. No, I don't want the hero shield. I think I'll take the Spy Master instead. Get a little extra wit. Now, if the Banes were to somehow kill me, well, I wouldn't be too upset. You know, I don't think I've ever seen any of the fight animations for Yordana. 
think I've seen them for everybody else but her. Nothing too useful. I mean, Grand Heist is good, but still. Jeez, did she miss that many dice? Guys, she's supposed to have five when fighting against Danes. Sorry. There you go. I mean, you have no defenses, so... try and go in for round three. I mean, it seems to me that either way you're going to end up fighting it. Because it's going to be nighttime after your turn and um, it's going to attack you. Somehow she's managed to survive. Good for her. Mm, lucky her, having that many uh, healing items. <laughs> Let's burn Wield's Warning. Uh, get rid of the leather armor for a little extra defense. And roll the rest. Oh, right, right. Because I'm defending. It, uh becomes a roll, or becomes a reflect. Hmm. Smart move going after the King's Guard rather than me. Not that it ended any better for you. So, does that leave me as prestige leader, or... Uh, well, actually, yeah, it does. Of course she'd do that, and I have nothing to... Nothing to heal with.
I don't know why, I just really do not like the effect of the, uh, what is it? Vile Plague Dice. Wait, what? Okay. That sucks. Teleport. Banish. Now, but that costs four magic. Damn it. Well, I can at least get regeneration going. Question is, where will it take me? Furless dungeon, furless dungeon. I get the feeling that would be there, so I'm not taking my chances. Yeah, then again. Nope, never mind. Ow. Oh well, I got the swords anyways. And I get teleported again. I went one space in the span of that entire turn. Really? I know Armello is random, but come on. she planning? Yep. Well, I know what I'm doing come morning. Let my rule be heard. And let's get a prize and Mary Ale going. Which means she's no... No, she's still taken from my, uh... Huh. Weird. I'll say one thing about that, uh, Wanderer. He's certainly loyal. I don't care about the Minus Two fight. I just want to kill her. Which is looking less and less likely. Really? 
Well, whatever. At least I got rid of the Curse of Valor. One damage on her. of a turn. No, I don't think I've ever seen a scenario outside of the palace where all four heroes were gathered in the same location. And, of course, she's going to use this opportunity to get as far away as possible. Because why wouldn't she? My bad. Really? I'm just gonna shoot you again. You know what? I'm not even sorry anymore. Now I'm really not sorry. <laughs> Feeling your Donna is just going to be one of those really, really annoying characters that everybody hates to play against. Kind of like May from Overwatch with how she freezes everyone.
Yeah, even as an AI player, I wouldn't go against that. Plus, I have something to use. Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't be too upset about the AI player winning this. Simply because I don't want your Donna to win. <sighs> of course, if there's mutually assured destruction, well... I would be the winner in this case. Simply because of the fact that, well... I would be the one with the most prestige. And so to that end, I think I'm gonna stay far, far away. And stealth so that Yordana can't cast anything else on me. Now, chances are she's probably got a spell she can use on him. course, she's probably going to try coming after me, just so that I can lose my prestige. Oh no. She's become prestige leader. There's nothing I can do about it. Now the question is, why'd she play Mirror Image King's Guard? If, if I could kill her, she would lose prestige, I would gain prestige. Because killing this Bane isn't going to be enough. That would get me eight, but that would tie me with her. And because of the fact that it would be a tie, she would still be the prestige leader. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, Fang's dead. Which leaves that spot open. Not good. Really, really not good. And the kingdom shall know my rule. what you would be doing. Oh, please, Fang. Kill her. Enough. The 
lame. Minus two health. Hey. Ah, but I don't have enough magic. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Taking a big risk. Of course. I was hoping to get some magic. Then again, I do this. And I manage to kill the Bane without dying, somehow. Then I'll be able to... Well, then I'll have more prestige than your Donna. Which isn't looking like it's gonna happen. somebody else from getting it. She's probably just going to use her purification to get rid of that Bane so I can't get the... Or she's just going to outright kill me. And then the Bane. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to when this comes out and everybody plays your Donna just to be that character. And chances are she probably has something that'll get her uh, an extra AP while in the castle. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Not that she has to do anything, she's the prestige leader. I'm not the only one thing Yordana seems a mite overpowered, right? The question is, are they going to drag this out?
Why not? At least I'll finally get my third quest done. Eh. got the quest to get into the palace. The question is, why isn't she taking this opening? You know, a thought just occurred to me. I have four gold. I also have one settlement. Which, including my clan's grounds, is going to give me two gold. So I could steal that spirit stone off of her. I mean, chances are she could just go for this one and regain it, but... It's more for the hassle? Not sure why she would teleport there... I mean, if I were her and I had a teleport, I'd have gone right here and then into the palace. Makes no sense. Gonna do something, Sana? Let's see, she's got two health. I could actually just cost a, a cast a flame to her. Be that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. Well, if she didn't have the achievement for uh, going the whole game without getting killed, she certainly won't have it now. Then again, where does she respawn? Oh, you have to go through all those perils. Gonna get it. And lose two health in the pro. Well, wait, what? Okay, I was gonna say, lose one health in the process. Still, though, that would have been insanely lucky had she succeeded on that.
Come on, make your decision. Let my rule be heard. Ooh, I'm now the prestige leader. Interesting. What was she planning with that? Well, I may as well not even bother with the quest at this point. May as well just try heading straight for the palace. Not unless Fang wants to. Still not the prestige leader. Still me. Ooh. No matter, no matter, she can't make use of the grand heist. I mean, she did, but it doesn't do her much good. Fine with me. I'm actually going to do this, and then this. Give him an extra chance at survival. Because even if he doesn't survive it, well, whether he survives it or not, I just don't want Yordana to win. I'm just going to be spiteful about it. And because it's nighttime, the uh, King's Guard aren't going to be attacking him. Oh, now why would you do that? If it ends up mutually assured destruction, well, I win. Right? Yeah, I win. Let's see how this ends. If it ends at all. 
though I'm fairly confident it will. <laughs> You'll regret this. He might, I won't. Victory. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he won just because of the bark skin I played on him, because he's down to two health. I'm just gonna give my commendation to uh, Sana. Let's end this off by opening one of our dire chests. Yeah, I really should consider just selling those druid chests, because I, I don't think they're going to be coming around again for quite some time. Nightshade. So you don't mind? No, that was Fox Club that I already had. Oh well. With that, guys, we've come to an end of an ep the, that's, uh, another episode of our Mellow. Unfortunately, at least at the time of recording, this is going to be the last episode we see of the Rivals until I decide to buy it. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw of it. I know I've probably encouraged a lot of people to go for Yordana because of how annoying she can be. But if you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.